Hi guys, I have a pillow box for you today that I am decorating with lawn fawn stamps. So this is a uh, pillow box die that I got from lawn fawn. And on top of that, I am going to both uh, Copic color and do some distress ink resist techniques. First, I'm stamping this cute little reindeer in some memento tuxedo black. Uh, I'm putting him a little bit to the edge because when I started doing it, I kind of wanted to have a sentiment on the box, but I ended up not having a sentiment on the box, which was totally okay. Then I have made a little mask. I have stamped the reindeer onto some Simon Says Stamp masking paper. And then I have uh, fussy cut it all out. Um, when you're making masks and you have stamps that have a little bit of a wider ink, inking uh, as these are, have, you can actually cut um, like in the middle of that ink line and then you will get a very very good mask uh, which I, I kind of like. I'm going to do some heat embossing so I'm using my Versamark ink and this is a couple of trees from the Joy to the Woods stamp set and I'm also going to do some Versamark stamping with a couple of snowflakes uh, from the Creatures in the Snow. So I kind of mix and match all of my lawn fawn stamp sets very very widely. I love doing that. They have so many small little decorative stamps that you can kind of fill out your card with and I thought this would be a, a fun little a way of playing with them. I'm using my Hero Arts white embossing powder because it's awesome. It's a very fine detailed one and it works very good with the um, where's the mark? Uh, with, with the kind of detailed stamps. And uh, also uh, after heating embossing it I actually remove the little mask and then I heat embossed it and then I put the mask on again because you can get um, that you kind of when you heat the glue on the masking paper sometimes it can get a little bit stuck but you can actually heat with it I just wanted to see which would be best uh, it works both ways the mask will I think it sits a little bit harder if you keep the uh, keep it on while you're heating boss but yes here is my embossing yes and I didn't want the uh, emboss when you heat emboss you can kind of get it stick together so as I did have heat embossing going over the stencil I that was the way I removed it um, then I'm doing my kind of distress ink technique I'm using some faded jeans some shipped sapphire and some black soot. And I'm not concentrating on making it very equal because you won't really see that it isn't smooth after you put the box together. I would however recommend you to kind of mask off the little flap because my tape had issues st sticking to it when it was wet and you know I'm, I'm impatient person so uh, then I actually did some Copic coloring I added my E uh, E29 E27 E25 and E23 onto my little reindeer and he gets pretty dark but he still stands out um, towards the background and that's also why I didn't want to blend out the background too much because I didn't want it to get too dark on him so that uh, he stood out a little bit more. And another tip, if you felt that this wasn't enough, you can always uh, outline him with like a white yell pen or anything. It would actually fit pretty good into the rest of the design. And then to put the uh, little pill box together, you just use a, a bone folder to crease the edges. Uh, you add some tape to that little flap and uh, I added the tape as far into the fold as possible because then you will have the best pillow box and then you just push it down 
and you push those in. You push the one with the little um, hole in first and you do that on both of the sides um, and then your pillow box is done. So that was my little pillow box. I hope you liked it. If you do, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Down below you can find all the details of this project. And here are two annotated uh, videos for this happy holiday series. Thank you so much for watching and I see you later. Bye!